Welcome back everybody. I have another 12 by 12 layout for you and this time around the photo is of my two kids with their dad and they are on Potato Point Beach and they're searching for seashells. So in from my huge stash of papers I found this gorgeous one from Kaisercraft. It's from the High Tide collection and this one is called Overboard. Luckily I have two of them because I want to use both the A side and the B side and I will also be using those strips there as well because I absolutely love the saying of them. So here we are, I'm just going to be trimming about two to three mils of all four sides. So this will be my main paper and then the navy blue one will be acting as a mat and what I'm going to do is because I don't want to waste it, I'm actually going to gut the inside and I think I left the border all around, uh, a one inch border all around so then it was easier for me to stick my main background paper on. I have noticed that I seem to really like to frame my main backgrounds and yeah I just love how it makes everything pop so I'm just going to use my ATG gun and just secure everything down. I want to apologize for not uploading a video last week but things just went a little bit crazy around this household it's just been one of those weeks where everything just that could go wrong did go wrong and yeah we were more or less just chasing our tails so it was really good to get into my craft room and relax doing some so as per usual i'm going to quickly mat my photo and this time around i'm using a bigger mat than i would normally use this one's about half a centimeter in width but i actually like how it makes the whole photo pop out and these are the branding strips from the paper. I've got two and the branding strips actually say waves, sunshine, mermaids, beach, seashell, sandcastles and ocean. Okay, this is where I start off with one idea and you will see that later the layout goes on a completely different tangent. So I, on my silhouette machine, I cut out all these lovely different seashells. I think they're all different, different cut files. I'm not really sure. I just found anything that had seashells I cut them out on my silhouette and I'm playing around with how I want to frame my photos because my original idea was to frame this this photo with all these gorgeous seashells and that time together chipboard is from fab scraps now this is one time where the idea in my head doesn't work out so I got this other paper I believe it's also from Kaisercraft oh yes it's from the high tide collection and it's called harbour and I'm going to use it to back all these seashells. So as you can see, all I'm doing is adding some glue to my seashells, putting it down, and then I do a lot of fussy cutting. So there they are, they are all done. And once again, I am being stubborn and I'm trying to make this work. Because in my head, all these seashells framed my photo, but it didn't work out in real life. So I I was getting frustrated, I forgot about that idea for a while, I'm just leaving the seashells there and I got out this mermaid stamp, it's quite an old one, I've had it around for a while and I used some Versamark ink and I'm just going around it now with some, I sprinkled some embossing powder, I believe it's from Ranger and it's called Navy and I'm just going to obviously emboss it with the heat gun, that's all done, love my little mermaid. And once again, I'm trying to make these seashells work. So off camera, I went and I got a piece of cheesecloth that you can see behind my photo, trying to see if I can make everything work. And I cut out a lot of it, but I played and I played with those seashells. And in the end, I go back to my mermaid and I'm thinking, how am I going to make her pop? And I realize I've got all these gorgeous sequins that are sort of in different shades of blue. And I'm just going to put them into my little little love heart glass thing there. And I'm just going to play around. So what I did was I put some glue down and then I pick up different sequences until I had this whole mermaid covered. And it absolutely looks gorgeous. It was time consuming, but the end result was really and truly worth it. So I'm pretty sure that, oh, there it is. I didn't make you watch the whole thing and I just love my mermaid absolutely gorgeous and I just stamped her on some scrap glue paper that I had lying around so what I'm going to do now is I'm just adding some gel medium to the back of my photo it's acid free so it protects my photo and I'm going to stick it down onto this gorgeous cheesecloth 
I absolutely love cheesecloth for texture and just going to stick it down, add some more, I do believe I add some more glue, yes, and that way everything is firmly in place. Okay, so now my photo is done and I'm going to take some scissors and all I'm going to do is just trim around that cheesecloth because it was just a little bit too long and I wanted it to have more of an uneven look. I guess I was trying to go for the look of a net so the you know the the seashells and the mermaid are all caught on this net and all I'm doing here is I've got an old paintbrush and I'm putting some gel medium and adding it to just around the photo and then sprinkling these micro beads I'm not really sure what they're called but they're a gorgeous blue color and I absolutely love using them for texture now I do believe I go around the whole four sides of the photo and some this right hand side is the one that got more of the micro beads so absolutely like I said loved the look of it and I don't know if you can see on camera but I've actually frayed out all the cheesecloth so back to the layout here and oh, did I say I love my mermaid I really really do so I've just got my seashells there. I've sort of forgotten about them for the time being. I'm trying to make that title work, but I decide, mm, put it aside. And I found this cut apart. It's a little, oh, I'm not sure. It came from um, the High Tide collection and I do want to use it and I do use it. And I decide that, yes, my mermaid looks quite good there, but you know, I'm still going to play around with it. I put things down and move on to other things. I do believe I go back to those seashells and stubbornly try to get them on the layout. So, love the title, but I just didn't like that square border all around it. So I'm just taking my scissors and trimming that up. And then I do believe that I cut the word, yes I do. So time together, I didn't want it all together like that. And you know, there's nothing wrong with taking a, a chipboard and just making it your own if it's not working for you as it is. Oh yes, and here it is. I am determined to get those seashells onto the layout, but they do not. So here's that gorgeous little little cut apart. And what's it? What's it say? It says every seashell has a story, and I absolutely loved it. I inked it with some distress oxides in the color faded jeans, and oh, I just had to ha I just had to use this saying because we collect seashells every beach we go to regardless we always come away with some seashells which are are being utilized we've got a rock in our front yard and I'm actually gluing all these seashells onto this rock so every seashell does have a story for us because we do remember where well, some of the prettier ones where they came from and what we were doing anyway back to the layout I'm going to use the title I'm going to use some embossing powder i've got this gorgeous navy color embossing powder from ranger just sprinkling it down i do believe that i gave it three coats of embossing powder on the video i show you only the one layer but it was actually three layers so that i could get that nice thick thick chunky glossy look that i was after so finally everything's coming together and I'm just going to add some splatters. So I've used that this si the same Distress Oxide in the colour faded jeans and added some water and then just using a, a splatter brush or what I call a splatter brush. And I absolutely love how this is all coming together. As you can see everything is glued down and that's a close up of those gorgeous little splatters. Absolutely love it how it all came together. And I'm not sure what I did next. Oh yes, so I decided then that the cheesecloth needed an extra something. So I'm just using some of that leftover splatter ink and using a paintbrush. Well, I'm just using the same splatter brush just to dye the colour of it. Love how that looks. So anyway, thank you everybody. Hope you like today's layout. If you do, give it a thumbs up and please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. Anyway, till next time, take care everyone. Bye.